I am so excited. When I found out that James was in the De Young, I was, it was just like the most incredible news. It was probably the best good news of 2020. James has always been, he's always been a creator, right? So earliest memories, he was always drawing or actually um, making things. Like he would make little dioramas of his favorite places places like Santa Robin or Molly Stones, the supermarket. So things in downtown San Mateo or Burlingame that we would frequent, he would just get obsessed with them, look at their pictures and Google images and then make dioramas. Painting is actually fairly new. So the painting probably started wow. about two years ago. And part of the reason he was so late to painting was it was actually our fault. Um, we figured that painting would make a big mess. <laughs> and so we kept him from it and, and try to keep him to, you know, drawings, which are much cleaner. Uh, but when the pandemic happened, then his routine was just disrupted. He was home all the time. And it, and it really was a question of, you know, what do I do with this kid all day? I found out about the open call of the D Young in June. And when I found out the deadline was actually a week away. So I was like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Uh, and he had, I felt two good paintings. So I knew that there would be a lot of competition because I knew there are so many incredible artists in the Bay Area and everybody would be submitting. So when the contest opened, submitted two of his works and, uh, and sure enough, they closed the submission window early just because they were inundated. I think there were 11,000 people who applied. And I'd like to point out that these are many of, and many of these are professional artists. So we really are so honored to be in this group. I've been to the show and it's an incredibly strong show. He is in amazing company. It was wild. It was, it was so great. I mean, especially when I saw the caliber of the artists that surrounded him right? That's really what makes a difference because, um, yeah, to see him in that company, and I think they had artists that represented a really good picture of what the Bay Area is now with a lot of topics that are so important right now in our political moment. It was great. It was great just seeing that, you know, James E., a teen with autism, who may not be verbal is part of this group. That was, it was phenomenal. I'm sure James will continue making art because this is just what makes him tick, right? His two favorite things are creating art and being in water. Um, but what's also important to us is that he can use this talent and use it to bring awareness and raise funds for causes, especially <sighs> autism causes, other kids with autism and with disabilities. I think it's an amazing testament to what people with disabilities can do and people with autism can do. There are so many different kinds of intelligence and so many different kinds of abilities that we, we really should expand our view um, of what people with disabilities can do. James's whole pandemic series is um, for sale in an auction to benefit his school, the Oak Hill School. So www, the Oak Hill School, and it's on auction and the auction ends um, soon after Christmas or basically this December. So um, I would urge your viewers, I mean, if anybody wants to collect the Jamesy, and you know, help kids with autism, it's an excellent way.